Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays VR. In this video we're going to be looking at big screen beta. Yes, this is currently in beta. So what is big screen? Well, big screen enables you to use your desktop in virtual reality. And the only way on screen you can currently see is by mirroring the headset. If I actually use the capture screen mode that's involved in this game, I get like a million mirrors and I can't actually see the control panel. So this is the only way, unfortunately, I'm going to be able to show you this. But believe me, in-game, it works an absolute treat. Now, there are lots of options in here to change the size of your desktop, the curvature, and the distance away from you. And you can use this screen in various different locations in this apartment, such as here, I'm in the living room. And because this is a seated experience, it really does feel like I'm sat on this couch. Absolutely brilliant. So we can flick through now and have a look at some of the other locations in here. Kitchen table, this screen feels like it's literally about <laughs> six inches in front of me. But the environments in this apartment are really, really nice in VR. You know I'm a stickler for talking about glitchy low-res graphics with uh, anti-aliasing issues, but in here, absolutely no bother at all. Including this chaise lounge or whatever it is, as I just move it so you can see a little bit better. It's really nice in here. If I had my legs up now, I would feel like I'm actually sat on this chair. Very nice indeed. And we can change, as I said, mention the size of the screen and we can move it around and curvature. And there's even an option to move it wherever you want. So if you were laying down in bed with your VR headset on, you could press the follow button and put it right directly in front of you. So if you had a mouse at the side of you, you can obviously see your mouse and you can zoom around. Now, is this program going to be, is it going to enable you to actually use your desktop for long periods of time? Well, in my honest opinion, yes, I think it is. Obviously, some of the icons at the bottom there are a little bit blurry, but all you have to do is move your head in a little bit closer and you can see them quite easily. Now, there's also the option to have these environments and... On the video, this is not going to come across, but these are beautiful, really, really nice. And what was first shocking when I first put these on was how sharp and crisp they are at distance, because the HTC Vive really is really, really good up close. The textures are nice and it's high resolution. Usually when you get something in the distance, it turns into smush. It goes all glitchy and anti-aliasing. It's a bit of a mess, but every single one in here, even out into the distance, is nice and sharp. Now, whether this is because I've got my IPD all set correct and I know how to adjust the headset now that makes it comfortable for me, I don't know. But a lot of games, it may be that these are static, actually. I can't tell whether they're static or whether they're 3D. They're that good. And I know there's a couple in here, such as the, the Mars one at the end as we get to It's just absolutely stunning really really nice as you can see this one we've got a sort of sunset with a moon up there very pleasurable and it actually makes it quite nice just to sit and just you wow <laughs> it's nice it's nice honestly if only uh, elite dangerous looked this good at distance we would all be very very happy but that's for another video i think and uh, we've got a few more in here and obviously we can change the screen however we want. Let's have a look at a couple more in here. What's this one? Yep, nice. Very nice. Yep, indeed. Now, the, the brutty bonus of all this is that this program's actually free, and it's on Steam. So if you want to get into a virtual desktop, now's your opportunity. I certainly, as I mentioned, I have actually tried to edit a couple of videos using uh, using this feature, a little bit like virtual desktop somewhat. It's quite doable, especially when the screens are really in nice and close towards you. Now, this one just looks amazing in VR. And immediately when I saw this, I thought of 2001, a massive space hulk or a ship went <laughs> flying straight past you there. Wow, somebody make a game, please, on Mars in VR. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. But actually, there are more features in this than just me sat here jibber-jabbering. You can share your desktop with up to five people. So here you can see these are public rooms, so I'm just gonna pick a room now and click join. And there we go. It's gonna be a little bit laggy, so what I may do is I may turn my screen off. Now I'll give this a little bit of time to load here. 
and just turn that off. And as you can see, that's these guys are on to the left of me. And he's put his screen, even though it's small, he's put it on the cinema screen, which is the large, super big screen right in front of us. So what's the purpose of this? Well, it, what you could literally do is, in virtual reality, you could get four of your mates, all put your headsets on, meet in, meet in here, out on the balcony with a couple of beers, and one of you could put a film on, or you could put a game out on that huge screen, and all four of you could watch it. So really, it's like having TeamSpeak, but actually having a presence within virtual reality. And you can all see the same screen, so you're sharing your screen. I think this is really, really cool. I really was impressed with this. There is a little bit of an issue with uh, bandwidth at the minute. I've noticed just like this guy is way too loud on the left of me. That's why I've muted the sound a little bit. Um, it is a little bit laggy with the voice, and it was breaking up a little bit. But, of course, this is beta. Or should I say, well, it is beta. Yeah, I was going to say it's alpha. It's not. It's actually a beta. But as you can see, this guy over to the left of me now, I can literally just lean over, look at him, looking at porn, whatever he's doing on his screen, and we can watch it together. So that, I think, really is a wow factor. So if you've got the HTC Vive and you fancy giving this a go, jump on over to Steam and download it, and let me know in the comments box what you think about this. I think it's really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays VR, and this has been Big Screen Beta, the big mother of all virtual desktops. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.